Hello, Anime Visor here. And Signum. With a review for Princess Connect Redive. Princess Connect Redive is based on an RPG mobile gacha game by Psy Games and a sequel to Princess Connect. More on that a little later. If you're unfamiliar with Psy Games, they've also developed games like Rage of Bahamut, Grand Blue Fantasy, Shadowverse, and Drogelia Lost a couple of which have already gotten anime adaptations. Specifically here with Princess Connect Redive and Monaria Friends, Psy Games have adapted them into anime themselves with their Psy Games Picture Studio. But enough about Psy Games for now, what is the Princess Connect Redive anime about? Inquiring minds like mine wanna know. Princess Connect Redive is a fantasy adventure comedy set in Astoria and follows the adventures of an amnesic young man named Yuki. His guide who looks after him, Kokoro, the ever-hungry, beautiful swordswoman, Pecorine, and the cool beauty, cat-eared magical girl, Carol. The four soon form the Gourmet Guild, a guild that's main mission is to seek out and investigate every type of ingredient and cuisine in the world and enjoy eating meals together. So you're saying this fantasy anime is also a... Yep. It's also a cooking anime signum. You're lured into Princess Connect Redive as a comedic fantasy adventure, but before you know it, you're actually watching a cooking anime. What did you think of it? I did enjoy it, as I did find Princess Connect Redive to have some really nice animation, but it was also pretty funny too. From the timing of the jokes to the facial expressions, I thought it was a pretty good comedy that also felt really familiar. How so? Well, it turns out the director for Princess Connect Redive was Takaomi Kanasaki, who just so happened to be the director for Konosuba. And boy does it show here in Princess Connect. Those over-the-top facial expressions seen in Konosuba continue and are right at home here in this anime. Now it's hard to say right now if that's just the comedy style Kanasaki is going for these days as a director. He is no stranger to directing comedies like The Magician's Academy or Is This a Zombie? And Konosuba and Princess Connect could be the direction his directing has gone. Or Psy Games asked him to direct their anime and told him to do this but like Konosuba. One shows growth and commitment to a certain style, while the other shows stagnation and doing what you did before. I suppose it doesn't matter too much. As long as people can enjoy the final product, that's all that matters in the end. So no matter how the comedic style of Princess Connect came about, I did enjoy it. However, I think comedy only gets you so far, and it's important to have a good story, or at the very least, good characters. I've said before on the channel that I'm a fairly character-centric guy when it comes to an anime or a series I enjoy. If I like a character and how they're handled, I'm going to be more inclined to stick with it even if it has other problems. I would say I was pretty pleased with how this anime handled its characters. Not just the main ones either, that I think are really well done. And not to spoil anything, but that despite their happy smiles they put on, our main characters have dealt or are dealing with a bit of a dark past. While Princess Connect Redive is pretty easy to compare to Konosuba, it's got some similarities to a certain other isekai anime. You spend so much time laughing with these characters that when things aren't so much in a laughing matter, you can't help but find them endearing in some way. So I really liked how the main characters are handled. But I think this anime does a really good job with its side characters as well, especially for an anime that is based on a gacha game with a plethora of characters. One of the problems I had with Azure Lane, another anime based on a gacha game, was that it seemingly tried to put as many characters from the game in the anime as possible, with very little setup, introduction, or reasoning outside of fan service for those who played the game. In fact, Azure Lane was so bad at that, it actually sets up a character that it then in turn doesn't introduce. You're referring to Portland being in the anime to set up her sister Indy, who never shows up? Yes, that very issue. However, most of the time, Azure Lane just threw its characters up on the screen for fan service, whereas Princess Connect Redive handled that so much better. Almost every side character we meet that is clearly from the game, we're usually introduced to them through one of the main characters. 
It makes him feel connected to the world and the story being told, and it's usually in an episode that is dedicated towards that character, but not just on screen for a couple of seconds, quoting a line from the game. Heck, even when a new character isn't met through one of the main characters, we at least meet them through a previously introduced side character. There's a nice flow and connection to the reasoning all these characters are showing up, and I think gacha game based anime can take notes from that method. Even a series like Fate I think has a bad habit of throwing too many references or characters in for no reason outside fan service. So I very much appreciated the way Princess Connect Redive handled its characters. Main and side. Do you have any issues with Princess Connect? Hmm. Not any major ones. If I had to come up with something, it's that it's a tad episodic at first, and it takes some time to introduce the overarching story and really explore the main characters. But I still found it entertaining before it gets to that, so I don't really count it as a knock. Its biggest hurdle, I imagine, is that some people may start watching it and think it's just aping Konosuba, and drop it before it starts to deal with what's going on underneath the surface with the characters. I could also see some people being hesitant to watch the series, because Princess Connect Redive is adapting a game that is technically a sequel, but I find it also works as a soft reboot. You don't need to know anything about the original Princess Connect to be able to watch and enjoy Redive. The comedy and the characters very much carry this anime, and any connection between Redive and the original game's story is just icing on the cake. Once again, I overall enjoyed Princess Connect Redive. Nice animation along with comedic expressions and moments that are very reminiscent of Konosuba. But I really like how it handled its characters, especially how it introduced its side characters from the game, and hope future gacha based anime learn a lesson on how to handle characters like that. So if you're in the mood for something funny and you like Konosuba slash Takaomi Kanasaki's brand of humor, consider checking out Princess Connect Redive. Though I will add, it's probably not the best anime to watch on an empty stomach or if you're on a diet. Good point. With all that said, what are your thoughts on Princess Connect Redive? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I've been Anime Advisor. And I've been Signum. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>